The Inuits, a sub-nomadic group that are located in the north part of Canada around the Arctic Circle, still here today and characterized by the fantastic building, the Igloo. So you're probably asking yourself, how on earth is this possible in Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition? And that comes along the brand new free mod, Age of the World. And when I say free, I mean it's 100% free, providing 14 distinct new civilizations that have brand new buildings, models, voice acting, subcultures. It's absolutely insane. And of course, we're going to be showcasing the Inuits in this video. I'll be showcasing more further throughout. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Strap yourselves in and let's do this. Like, can you actually hear the voice acting? How good this is? Like, I'm not even joking. Like, this is better. This is better than Lakota. We, we haven't got the... Like, it sounds so good, right? That's the first thing that hit me straight off the bat. Always nice and professional to have absolutely amazing casting. And we do have our explorer here, as you can see. Uh, Igaluk, his name is. And he can basically do the sharpshooter attack. He's got the recruit guardian and he's got net toss. You do an area effect attack that slows enemies, which is absolutely, absolutely awesome. So the first one, somebody said igloo. You guys have an igloo. So we're going to just get that down. We're just going to start to get some. Um... So here you go. You have an igloo. Gives you um, 15 population. And there's also a big bun. Look at these big buns. Look how nice they look. Can we talk about that? Look how nice. Yeah, building igloos on Arabia. That's it. And what we're going to do is we've got all the buildings here. Now, the next one is a fishing hole. This is basically like a farm with the African sieves, right? So you can put a fishing hole down. And this is if you have any issues in the late game with food. You would be using fishing holes. 50 wood. And they have a limited source. And look at the little fishes jumping up. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. We do have the hunting cottage now. The hunting cottage, guys, is amazing, right? 100 wood. It contains your hunting upgrades, so it's separate from your market. Lures huntables, lures huntables, and boosts nearby villagers gather rate. So, so we can look at the hunting lodge. Look at this. Look at look at these. Look at this detail. Like, like, come on. Like, is it just me? It's just so well done, man. And we can see here, big button here, another one that like, delivers a number of random huntable animals. So, 250 wood and 250 coin. And these are your hunting dogs, by the way. So here's your huskies. Look at them. Here's your little huskies, right? And what they can do, which is kind of crazy, I think, might need to change it. You can actually use them to, to, to lure hunts, see? So that they can basically just hunt, just like any anything else. So we're just gonna we're just gonna and you can see when they're gathering, they're just sort of like they're sort of just attacking. So you can see community plaza. Look how beautiful the community plaza looks. It's one of the one of my most like favorite community plazas. Uh, I must say. So we'll get the community plaza down. We'll just select a deck here and we'll just get, uh, I don't know, zero waste butchering or something like that. There we go. Okay, so that is the community plaza and they do have a special dance, the ice fishing ceremony, which will spawn crates of fish over time, which is very nice to see. The next building that we're able to build is going to be, this is this is one of my, my favorite, the outpost, which is also called the Anuksuk. So if we look at the Anuksuk, can we just look at how beautiful this looks? Like, I know I keep going on about it, but this is just... I mean, it looks fantastic. It obviously doesn't really make much sense that it's an outpost because it is just like a monument. I get that. But in itself, it looks pretty damn awesome, right? And the outpost does only... It, it actually... Oh, it's like a Chu canoe. It fires 15 um, attack there six times, right? Yeah, look, 15, 6. So it shoots 15 damage each, uh, six times like a two canoe, right? That sounds ridiculous. All right. And look at this. This is what I love. I mean, some of these might need a little bit more work, but one of the ones I love the most is the chief. I mean, look at how the chief looks. I mean, I mean, come on. Absolutely just brilliant. You know, the elder... Yeah, the Elder looks really good as well. So slightly different art styles, of course. Look at this little baby polar bear. Absolutely amazing. So we're going to go for the uh, fast age up here, just to make it quick. So what do we have here? We have a barracks, right? And we have a bunch of units, and we have a big button here. So you can actually increase the line of sight. Blizzard scouts, look at that. Fantastic. So the first one we're going to look at is the Guardian. Now, this is like the Pike unit. 
So we're just going to create these. Uh, and we are just going to just build another one here. Anyway, these guardians, they have this massive stick, basically. And they do high siege. And you can see their hand attack there. They are, they have, this is, this is kind of ridiculous. Their bonus is five times bonus damage against cavalry, which is kind of crazy. They do cost quite a bit of wood, but that is a, that is quite a high multiplier against cav overall. So here we go. Here's the netters, right? So they don't have any sort of weapon. They literally throw a net, all right? And you can see they're like a heavy infantry unit. You can see they're a fisherman that throws fishing nets at enemies to entangle them. And I don't think it, I don't think it has ranged snare. I don't think it does. Uh, I'll have to see that. But you can see here, it's just a base sort of damage there. So you can see here we have the stables. We have two available to us in age one which is kind of crazy, actually. Uh, age 2, sorry. We have an anti-cav unit, which is the Elk Rider. So we'll get that out. Okay, so we have the Elk Riders. Now, the, the model of them, I think, is taken from the uh, those Spanish units. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, but here you go. They're, they are quite small in size, but you can see here that they, they just do, do well against heavy cav, uh, hand shock infantry and artillery. So... They are basically the elk. The elk riders are basically your your anti cav there. Quite a lot of actually of HP actually. They'll probably be really good as like a bow rider type unit. Uh, and, and do they cost? They cost. They do cost quite a considerable amount of uh, food and gold. Let's have a look at the Inuit horsemen. Let's move these guys over. Here we go. Look at them. The Inuit horsemen. Look how awesome they look with their with their maces. So these guys, they're explorer horsemen armed with a mace to deal damage at close range. They're basically a heavy cav, from what I can see. They have base damage of 30. Uh, their speed is quite considerable, though. I don't know if that's just me, 6.75. Quite a lot of HP as well. So that is pretty much, I believe, in a nutshell, all of the age 2 units. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and quickly age up. We do have a big button here. It's similar to, like, the tomahawk uh, shipment and also the jaguar shipment from the Aztecs and the Howd. You basically can get five harpooners. The harpooners you can actually only get in age three. And I'll be showing you those. They're basically an age three skirmisher. Okay, guys. So this is the awesome Inuit Wanderers. Look at them. Look how awesome they look. Fantastic. So the Inuit Warriors, uh, Wanderers, sorry. You can see they basically have bonus to cavalry um, and also bonus to shock infantry. Basically, these guys are... Yeah, they're, they're just like another spear unit. I think you'd just rather build the Guardians, I think, for now. But the Inuit uh, Wanderers, you can see here, 38, but times by five to Cav, that's insane. That's obviously needs some balancing. Uh, <laughs> you could absolutely delete Cav with that. That's insane. Um, they do cost 90 food and 75, though. But there we go. Now, this is one of my favorite units, the Harpooners. Because they, they literally... I mean, look at this. Look at... Look at the <laughs> <laughs> Look at this unit. Look at this unit. I mean, come on. Come on, man. They fire harpoons. It's absolutely amazing. So they're a skirmisher type unit. You can see the range resistance. Uh, they do have 20 range and they have a lot of damage. I mean, they are an age three unit, but they do 70 damage uh, to heavy infantry and to light range cav as well. But... Really, really nice. What we're going to do, have a look at the age three units in the stable. We can get a tamed polar bear. And you can also, I mean, look at the upgrade. I, I love the little upgrade icon as well. All these little things. Fantastic. And also the uh, the wolf nurturing here. You can get eight wolves with the big card. So I'm loving the whole big card stuff as well. Or the big button, sorry. It's very nice to see. And what we are also going to build is a... Um, a artillery foundry. So we are going to be putting the artillery foundry down. There it is. So this is the artillery foundry. Looks really nice. Once again, I really like the look of it. Get that bear out of here. And we can see we've got three different uh, units. Now, the final one is H4, which is a light cannon. That's the same as you get with the Howd. But we're going to be looking at the Inuit Fire Staff, right? This is one of my favorite units as well, I've got to say right now. Now, look at these guys, right? Can we just... Can we have a moment to appreciate these guys? The Inuit Fire Staff. 75 siege damage. They have bonus against artillery, but they are actually classed as heavy infantry. So you got if you get close, you gotta get close quick. But they do have 5.5 movement speed. Look how quick they are. So we're gonna look at this animation. Can someone tell me where this animation is? 
in AoE 3. Is this a new animation? Look at it. It's it's brilliant. Or is it just me? Have I, have I missed something? Look at that. So that is the Inuit Macement. And the final one, which everyone's been asking for, is the uh, the Kamutik, which is the Slay. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. I mean, come on. That's pretty damn good. For someone not in a development team with Microsoft, coming up with something as awesome looking as that. I mean, come on, dude. Right, okay, so the, the Kamutik here, right? The description is, it's a sleigh pulled by wolves or huskies. Deals good damage against buildings and very good damage in melee range. Apparently. So it doesn't say about melee range here. It just says about siege and ranged. And they basically do ranged bonuses to any cav and any heavy infantry and buildings. So probably a little bit OP, I would say. But they do cost quite a lot. So consider this as maybe your artillery unit, right? So I'm going to try and see if I can come up with like some kind of opening for this sieve. And I'm sure there's people that have been playing this way more than me. So what we're going to do is um, we do have all of our huskies. So I'm going to use the huskies to actually help herd. And you could probably use them to also just... There you go. You could probably use them also to, to obviously scout around the map. So I'm going to use... I'm going to use them to do that. And the first thing I'm going to build is I'm going to go ahead and build a uh, hunting cottage. That's the first thing I'm going to build. And of course, I'm going to be building uh, an igloo. So I'm going to get an igloo down. And our wolves there are, are hunting away. I didn't really want to do that, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to be herding. There we go. And I'm going to be grabbing the hunting dogs here. So we are just going to be putting that down. So the dogs do actually become like... It, that's one of the things that maybe I think could change. Is that when the dogs aren't doing anything, they, um, they basically become idle. Just like uh, other vills as well. So what we want to do is you ideally want to move the dogs around here so that they have that. See that there you go. The animals are herding, which is great. We got our. Um, we're going to be getting uh, our our hunting dogs. We're going to be selecting our deck. This is the deck that I've gone for. I would probably honestly just go for the zero waste carcass. You get 30% on hunting animals um, rather than two vills. I'd probably just go for that if it was me. Let's get our explorer doing something as well. Yeah, the, hus the husky herding. Yeah, you just have one husky. There you go. And now we can get the husky stuff. Didn't even need that, really. You could probably just have uh, another husky just go around and do what he needs to do. And now we've got the hunting upgrade. So, I mean, we're a bit of a slow start, but yeah, we're, we're pretty much... I mean, that was quite a poor start there. And already, I'm pretty much ready to, to age up just over three minutes. So you could definitely age up ridiculously quick. You probably don't even need to get to get that. There are still traps there as well, which you can get, which I've noticed, which is called the harpoon. So we are going to age up. I'm just going to go for 400 wood, and I'm just going to do like an age two kind of, kind of thing here, I think. Just give that a go. I don't know. We've got our huskies here. And we want to keep our huskies here, really. Let's put uh, a few on trees here. And what we do want to do uh, is... Where's our huskies? We want to get our huskies here because they can move so quickly, right? So we want to get them on the hunts so that we can... 
start hunting them to the to the cabin then. I'm just going to scout my enemy. I'm starting to get the upgrades. And when that comes through, I'm probably going to get hunting harpoons. So it's going to basically be a steel trap. I, I might get a market down as well. I probably don't need to. I'm going to wait for my card here. We are playing against Howd here. So this dog is going to then just herd that in. Exactly what we need to do. Just like huskies would, right? Just herding it in like sheepdog. Exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to probably just take that there. And then leave those two dogs there. And we're going to have quite a lot here. I mean, this is kind of crazy already. I'm seeing the amount of food. I feel like we chop wood really quickly. Or is that just me? That might just be me. Okay, we're going to just move the... Try and move them over to here. We want them to come over to here. There's the age up. CDs. We're going to be grabbing that. CDs nuts. <laughs> there we go. Some there indeed. And we're going to go for like five vils. Here we're going to go for eco, right? Let's go out and we can put down a, a war hut like here or something, right? Probably should have gone out quicker. Going to herd that in more. There it is. Going to herd that in more. I mean, the amount of food that we're getting is, is kind of insane. We are going to actually be taking a couple of these vills, get them on gold so we can actually start. Yeah, get all them on gold. Get that built. Nice. And hopefully we'll have this up very shortly. I mean, obviously this is, you know, this is a very, very rough kind of build order. I'm not doing anything crazy here. Probably need to take a couple off of here. Push them over there. Okay, so let's get some of the uh, netters here which are like the musketeer units. And what we can do is we can then get some of the guardians, which are like the pike unit. We can't actually garrison. They can't actually come out of here like other natives. That's something that I've just realized. We do have the blizzard scouts, which is going to increase our line of sight. So we can also do that. Sumna indeed. Get another barracks down. Okay, netters are coming in going to have some more let's get some more netters and we can also get the harpoon as well which gets us to sharpshooters which are basically like an age three unit because they, they are they are there we go wow what is this hey lopsided fluff this is the age of the world mod we also have harpooners here let's get everything together here and then we'll, we'll most likely just go for a a push. We don't honestly need that much gold. We do need to... We do need that. There we go. Let's move in. Look at the nets. Look at the nets, dude. Watch the nets. Ooh We've got the nets coming in as well. Killing the Vils. And obviously this is only on moderate, but it's just something to see, isn't it? To get an idea, we're just going to start creating a few more of those. Going to get a market down. Getting those nets in. <laughs> and the harpooners as well. And we've got the... Just going to get some more nets. And we can just go for the, for the allies as well. Got no pot. Okay, 
Oh. Let's just uh, we can hopefully deal with that. Let's get some guardians. They're going to need some more wood as well. How much are the guardians? 40 wood. Yeah, they're, they're a lot of wood. Let's go for that. Take down the TC. So that's like a very sort of like, I would say like a basic kind of age two play. I've, I've got a card available. I could just go for some more netters or I could just go for go for whatever here. Um, got these guys basically have a short range, high attack. There it is, boys. GG. So that's just like an overview. There you go. So I hope you, hope you guys did enjoy that. Um, fancy colors are cool. That that's yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into any more because I want you guys to explore it. And and this is what I think I'm gonna do. I I think I'm gonna be doing this for each civ. I'm gonna be doing like a showcase or like a spotlight on the civilizations at the moment on this mod, so you guys can get an idea of what they're about, what their type of units are, buildings, what their mechanics are. And also just seeing me kind of doing like a, you could say, quote unquote, competitive build order with them to get an idea of what they're all about. So, yeah. Okay, so that leaves the video with my honest first impressions and review of the Inuit civilization. And I've got to say, I am immensely impressed, as you can probably see from the previous footage, of both the voice acting, the artwork, the unique units, buildings, and thought gone into it. It's absolutely amazing. The imagination and inspiration to make this civilization is absolutely insane. We have the foundations there. Of course, there's going to be numerous balancing issues. There's going to be units that are broken. We all know that, but this is entirely free. I really recommend you guys download it. It's really easy to download. You can just check the link down below. You can join their Discord server. It will show you how to download, enable the mod, all that good stuff. And everybody is super friendly and will be able to help you out. So I hope you really enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comments below if you're going to give this mod a go. And of course, I will catch you in the next video or the next stream. Catch you later, guys. Bye.